Another quick tip for you today, we're gonna to talk about crimping BNC connectors onto coax. It seems to be an issue that some builders are having, so we're gonna go ahead and tackle that now. All right, so here we've got our BNC connector. Um, this one here happens to be a male connector with the pen. They do make a female version. The TNC connectors are the same way. Um, differences is that they're screw on instead of this uh, half turn connect. But the pins and stuff are all gonna be the same. The way that we crimp them are gonna be the same. When we get into angled BNCs, TNCs, those change, but we'll uh, show you that in a different video. So we have the pin, we have the connector, and then we have the crimp sleeve here. So the first thing we need to do is put that crimp sleeve on, get it onto the coax before we start doing anything else. Now what we have to do is we need to strip this back about a half inch and get this outer jacket off so that we can expose the shielding. One thing I will caution against is the um, tools they sell online where you have the three blades and then you spin it around and it strips everything at once. Uh, that, that works fine on like RG58 or even LMR400, which we don't use, but on RG400, uh, it causes too many problems. We can never get the depth set right. And anytime somebody has an issue with uh, coax, it's usually because we're grounding the shield to the center pin. And every time it's because they used one of those tools. Uh, we've even fell prey to it. We don't use them. All we use is a blade, snips, and a crimper, and that's it. We just do them all by hand. So we need to strip this back about a half of an inch. I start by putting it to the tip of my nail here. This is what works for me, may not work for you. And then to my thumb here. And then that gives me a good reference on where to score this outer jacket. So we'll go ahead and score the outer jacket. Don't go too deep. And then we make a slit down the center of it. And then that allows us to peel that jacket right off. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and push back the shielding. So one thing to note, you don't wanna cut this too far, too far back, because then when we go to crimp on this sleeve, you'll have some shielding exposed and it makes for a weak joint. So we wanna make sure we start about a half inch. If we have to take more off, we can do that. You can't add it back on. So we're gonna go ahead and push this back. Then we're gonna take this pin itself. And if you look at the pin, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. There's just a tiny little window in there. It's a little round hole. And we should see the center conductor exposed through that little window. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up till it's about at the top edge of that pin there. Just above the window, there's a little shelf there. So I'm gonna just take this and line it up about to that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and score this. So we'll score all the way around. Do not cut too deep or you will have issues. You'll take strands off. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull that back. Now that we have those exposed, make sure this goes on and all the wires are inside there, which they are. Keep all your shielding out of the way and it's all the way down. So now we take our crimper, we're gonna find the right hole for this one, it's the center one. So I'm gonna open these up, I'm gonna lay that pin in there, kinda just go on it just a little bit, push it all the way in and then crimp it and make sure it's on there real nice and tight, which this one is. Now we're gonna go ahead and push the connector on. What is we push, we should feel a snap, which I just felt it. I pushed it in, I felt the snap, and it won't come off now. So that's how we want to do it. Make sure you feel that snap. Then we'll push this sleeve up and see where now we have to trim. So now we've got to trim all this extra shielding off from around the connector. We need to make sure we get it all out of there all the way around. So a nice pair of flush cuts like these would be very helpful. They even make smaller ones that are nice too. So once we get all of that off there, we push that up, make sure all the strands are out. I still have a couple more on this side hanging out. So I'll cut those. And once I get around it and have no strands hanging out anymore, a couple more in there. That looks pretty good. Now I find the proper crimp for the sleeve itself, which again is the center one. 
and I go ahead and stick this in there all the way up, crimp it, and then I like to give it one more right at the end, and that's how you properly crimp it. We, we always put a shrink wrap over it and then shrink that down just to make that joint look nice, but we should not see any shielding underneath there, which we do not. We have that outer jackets up underneath there, crimped good, gives us a nice secure joint. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your center pin is pushed all the way up through so that you can see it. So it's pretty much flush with the front of the white part of the connector there. So we know it's gonna make good connection. All right, and then the last thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is check, make sure that we're not grounded on the center pin against the outside. I went ahead and set my meter up for ohms. I have mine set for the sound so that I hear as soon as I touch if there's a connection. And then I will stick one onto the center pin gently and one to the outer to make sure that I don't hear that connection. If I heard a connection, then I know that the center pin, see right now I'm touching both on the center pin. If I had that same sound here, then I know that the center pin is grounded to the shield and that would be no good. That would make for a bad connection and, and this will not work. So as long as you do not have that connection from the center pin to the outside and your pin is up all the way through that connector as it is here, we know that this is gonna work and be a good connection for us. Okay, so that's our quick tip for today on how to properly crimp a BNC or even a TNC straight connector. Um, if you're gonna do angled and they're soldered, they're gonna be a bit different. So uh, we will do a separate video on that, so watch for that. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you wanna see more of this, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check our Facebook. And then if you're a customer, of course, you can come on to our customer only Facebook page. Where we'll have more exclusive content for just our customers. Thank you and have a great day.